Now, if you're of a certain age, you'll remember this next film very, very well. The Disturbed Life of Alex DeLarge formed a storyline for Stanley Kubrick's 1971 film A Clockwork Orange. Four decades on, Kubrick's work has achieved cult status and the film is being re-released for a new generation of fans. The man who brought Alex DeLarge to life was, of course, the acting legend that is Malcolm McDowell. Good morning, morning. Malcolm. Good morning. Before we talk to you about the impact of the film, let's see you as Alex and uh, one of the Ultraviolets gang. I first set my eyes on sweet Molly Malone As she wheeled her wheel around through streets broad and narrow Crying cockles and muscles One thing I could never stand was to see a filthy, dirty old drunkie howling away at the filthy songs of his fathers and going blurp, blurp in between, as it might be a filthy old orchestra in his stinking, rotten guts. I could never stand to see anyone like that, whatever his age might be, but more especially when he was real old like this one was. <laughs> Can you spare some cutter, me brothers? <laughs> Did you stop now? Mm, I think it's best Just to stop time, there. Thank you. Just in time. Hello, Malcolm. <laughs> Missed the good bit. Oh, I tell you, I still find it disturbing now. Well, it Actually, is. It, it was is. It, it was a very polarising film at the time, wasn't it? And, and quite controversial because the amount of violence yes, in it. Yes, it was actually. Of, of course, you know, everybody remembers the violence of, of it. But of course, when we were shooting it, I thought we were making it a comedy, a black Did comedy. You? Yes, absolutely. And when audiences see it today, of course, they, they laugh. They really get the humour in it. Gosh. I know. But it's, uh, you know, Kubrick's brilliance of um, the fut his futuristic design and the way that he shot it and the light and all the rest of it was amazing. And of course, we were, you know, dressed in the bowler and how many pop groups uh, or singers have you mm. seen that copied that mm. from Madonna to David Bowie uh, Slipknot is the latest one mm. and based on the, the the book by Anthony Burgess which had mm. its own language which was, was another thing to, to get that was totally new about the film There's yes Burgess invented this NADSAT um, it, it's basically Russian and Yiddish mm. Uh, and when I first read the book, I struggled through it, looking at the glossary at the back, trying to figure out what it meant, you know. And, um, but Burgess, it's Burgess's masterpiece. You know, it's a great book. And it, it took a great director to, to realize it on screen. And uh, Kubrick was certainly that. You he know? was. He was already a great director, wasn't he? Because, of course, he had done 2001 A Space Odyssey. Well, and he's done Alita as well? Yes. He, this is the, I mean, from Paths of Glory, mm -hmm. which is one of the great anti-war films ever mm. made. Spartacus, <laughs> mm. which he hated. Didn't, he, really? No, he hated it. Hated working. Oh, I Spartacus. Working, yeah, it's a great movie. But, you know, Kubrick had to take orders from Kirk Douglas. And he didn't like that at all. <laughs> then he did Lolita with James Mason, of course, and Peter yep. Sellers, dear old Peter. And uh, then Dr. Strangelove, which is one of his great, great one films. One amazing film after another. Isn't it? And then 2001, then Clockwork yeah. Orange. But, but then he's known as a director who doesn't really, who leaves the actors to do their own thing. And, and so Alex was really your invention in a lot of ways, wasn't it? In it terms was. Of the I mean, and the approach to I, asked, I asked Stanley very early on if he had any ideas about this particular scene. And he looked at me and he said, Malcolm, I'm not Rada. <laughs> you know, I, that's why I hired you. I'm not here to teach you. <laughs> exactly. It, it, was, it was very controversial, as we mentioned. I mean, councils were banning it. And then mm. there was, I think, a court case at some point. And Stanley Kubrick then said, right, that's it. Nobody can see it in Britain anymore. That went on for years. Yes, I mean, I didn't realize I was, I was living in America. And, and um, I think it was only when the anniversaries came round, you know, like the 10th or the 20th, whatever it was. And people said, well, where's the movie? And um, he withdrew it on the advice of Scotland Yard because he'd, his family and himself got death threats. And so he decided and, and they advised him to withdraw the film, which he did, and he took it sort of literally forever, you know. Mm. And, and mm. Um, of course, when he died, um, you know, they re-released it and, uh, you know, the Brits could see it again. I mean, there was stories about, you know, going over to Paris, getting these 
dreadful pirated videos. Yeah. And, and well, I mean, it turned up on TV in Moscow once when I was there as a correspondent. We all stopped work to look at it because we couldn't believe that we were able to see it on the TV. Well, that's funny because, you know, I was there doing a film and I had a retrospective and I called Stanley and asked him if he could send Clockwork Orange and he went, there's no way I'm sending it to Russia because they'll <coughs> steal it, they'll pirate it. Yeah. I went, they've already seen it. <laughs> what do you think? I'm interested, at the, the very beginning of this interview, you said that now audiences will see it as a black comedy, whereas 40 years ago they saw it very differently and there was a huge amount of controversy about the amount of violence in it. What do you think has, has changed and why do you think audiences would see it differently now? I think, you know, that this film was groundbreaking when it came out and, and a lot of people copied it, a lot of, I mean, it changed the social fabric, not only of films, but music, fashion, stuff like this, you know, the punk rock movement is spawned in this movie. Mm. And I think that now that, you know, we're sort of used to it and, and the, the violence in the film really for me, I mean, it's, it's not a lot of blood in this film. It's not like the Wild Bunch, the Peck and Pong mm. movie. This mm. is, it's, it's a sort of uh, psychological but violence. But it also this had that extraordinary soundtrack. soundtrack. Cause we had for yeah. the first time, the Moog synthesizer yeah, exactly. played with amazing uh, creativity by Walter, now Wendy. Thank Carlos. you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's another little bit of yeah. interesting history. Yes. Uh, an amazing soundtrack. And of course you've got the Beethoven, you can't really go wrong with that. Yes. And then Stanley put in his favorite stuff. There's a whole sort of speeded up sexy scene to William to, Teller, uh, yes, William Teller yeah. Yeah. And, which is fun. Uh, you know, he was brilliant with his soundtracks though, you know, mm. 2001. I'm gonna marry a lighthouse keeper. Song you I'd remember know. that? Oh, and keep him company. That's I'm right. Gonna marry Live by the side of the sea. And who sang it? Do you he know? could go on. Can't he, remember. remember. <laughs> he remembers it. I can barely because remember. Because it was, yeah. it was the film of of our of my 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 age's youth. People so were going to fancy dress it. parties yeah. as you, of course, Alex. don't remember it, do you? Well, well I remember watching it eventually. Oh, you but, do. Yeah, not not she not was a the year time. Old when it came well, it's his 40th anniversary. That's why all the hoopla and it was at Cannes. Yeah. With huge, I mean, red carpet, you know, celebrity screening. It was 500 and something people. It was jammed, yeah. and. Uh, Warner Brothers have put out the Blu-ray on DVD, so it's really exciting because it's so pristine. It's better than when it first came out. Is it? Right. Mm. Extraordinary film. Thank you very much for coming to Great talk pleasure. to us about it. Thank you. And the Stanley Kubrick limited edition DVD collection, which includes Clockwork Orange, is <laughs> yeah. available from today. His other films are in there as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, and they are all brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant films, yeah. yeah. yeah.